Hello everyone. Today, let's see one important property of derived set. Let's go with the statement of the theorem. Let capital A be a subset of a topological space capital X let X be a topological space. Okay. Then a bar is the thing but a union a derived set of a let's prove this they had given that a be a subset of a topological space a be a subset which implies a union derived set of a is a closed set But is very important property of topological space. Okay. A union derived set of A will be always a closed set. Need to keep this in mind. By using this, we prove the theorem. A bar is nothing but A union derived set of A. Okay. Since A is the subset of A union derived set of A. Is the subset because A union derived set of A is there. That is A union derived set of A is a closed set containing A because it's the subset. But we know that A bar is the smallest closed set containing A. That we have proved in one of our previous video. Therefore, we can tell that instead of A, we can write A bar will be the subset of A union derived set of A. Call this as equation 1. Now, we need to prove the reverse condition so that we will get A bar equal to A union derived set of A. For this, let us uh, go with the reverse uh, method of uh, proofing. To prove to prove is a union derived set of a will be the subset of a bar for this uh, i'm uh, going the method a does not belongs to a bar implies x here x be any element does not belongs to a bar implies x does not belongs to here we need a union derived set of a okay we go with this method let us consider any element x does not belongs to a bar as we have taken x does not belongs to a bar implies x belongs to its contradiction that is x minus a bar as we know a bar is a closed set because a bar is nothing but closure closure is always a closed set okay a bar is a closed set which implies here x minus a bar x minus a bar is a open set is an open set that is that is x minus a bar is an open set open set see here x minus a bar is open set which containing x and and x minus a bar intersection a minus singleton set x i am uh, considering this is nothing but this is nothing but x minus a bar keep this term as it is intersection a minus singleton set x is a itself because because see here x be an element which belongs to x minus a bar we know that A is the subset of A bar which always true. X does not belongs to A bar given. X does not belongs to A bar implies X does not belongs to A also. Because A is the subset of A bar. A bar itself is not containing any element X implies A is also not containing the element X. So A minus X can be written as A itself because X will not be there in the set A. So we left with only the set A itself. Okay. Say so, this implies X minus A bar since again A is a subset of A bar X minus A intersection A is empty itself. 
that is that is there exist an open set x minus a bar containing x such that such that x minus a bar intersection a minus singleton set x is equal to empty this is the condition of cr this is an open set open set intersection the subset a minus singleton set x equal to empty if it is not equal to empty then it will become Uh, the limit point by the definition of limit point but it is equal to empty which implies x is not a limit point of a so x is not a limit point of a implies x does not belongs to derived set of a this proves that x does not belongs to a bar implies x does not belongs to derived set of a therefore derived set of a will be the subset of a bar which implies a union derived set of a is the subset of an uh, taking union with a so a union a bar also here also a union here also a union okay now we can write that a union derived set of a will be the subset of a union a bar is a bar itself because a is the subset of a bar call this as equation 2 so we have consider the reverse case in equation 1 now we got this from equation 1 and 2 you can write a bar is equal to a union derived set of a that we needed to prove this proves the theorem 